Hello and welcome, my name is Jim Fisher and in this video we'll be looking at how to set up our After Effects project ready to start working on 360 footage. So I'll be using After Effects version 2020. Uh, this should also carry across to future versions and I believe that this feature was around since 2018. Okay, so I'm just going to begin by starting off getting my After Effects project settings correct. So one of the first things we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to, we're going to get to edit preferences and we're going to go down to scripting and expressions. We're going to open this up and under preferences application scripting we want to turn on the allow scripts to write files and access network option. So the reason we're going to need to enable this is because we're going to be using the VR comp editor within After Effects to work with our 360 footage to give us a kind of VR preview and to generally just make our life a lot easier. And that's a JavaScript file. That JavaScript is already included within After Effects, but without toggling this option on, it will actually be denied because it needs access to the files and JavaScript just needs an extra level of permission within this window. If you didn't have this enabled, it would give you a warning message when you try and use the VR comp editor. So doing it now just makes our life a lot easier. So if you're working with 360 footage that's already captured on a 360 camera, you will already be able to drag your footage across and create a composition from that, which again we'll go through in the next video. But as a kind of little heads up of what's coming, and if I was to just sort of like hit new composition here, we would want to make sure that whatever our composition that we are creating is going to be scaled wise, we need to make sure that it's a two to one ratio. I'll go for that a bit more when we start looking at footage. And again, we don't need to worry about this too much now. I'll just kind of make you aware of it early on that we need to make sure that everything we're working to will be to a different aspect ratio to that than what we're typically used to. We're typically used to a 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. We're working to a 2 to 1 ratio. Another thing that you'll need to be aware of, and again we'll go through this at a later stage, is on the window we have the aforementioned VR Comp Editor. This is the JavaScript file that we'll be using to create our VR preview. Also to create our file that we'll be using to export to our 360 platform of choice. So without further ado, we can now, we've got our project set up, we can now actually start editing and making our 360 content. <laughs> 